Good morning. It is Wednesday, the first day of February. I have to figure out February. I hate that word. Shoot. Well, we've got we've got, got a, a month's worth of it. Yeah. Twenty days worth of introducing <laughs> it. Twenty-eight, whatever it is this oh. year. I'm Tim Ryan. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenny Anchondo, in for Lauren Prisbell today. President Trump's pick for the Supreme Court is heading to Capitol Hill to meet with senators this morning. Senators will be voting on his nomination, but uh, Neil Gorsuch may face some opposition. Dan is here with more. And Tim, at 49 years old, Neil Gorsuch is the youngest Supreme Court nominee in a quarter century. Since this would be a lifetime appointment, he could help shape America's legal landscape for decades to come. Judge Gorsuch currently sits on the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals in Denver and is known as a solid conservative. If confirmed, he would fill the seat left empty by the death of Justice Antonin Scalia, who was the right's most powerful voice on the high court. Gorsuch holds degrees from Harvard Law School as well as Columbia and Oxford. He could have had any job at any law firm for any amount of money. But what he wanted to do with his career was to be a judge, to write decisions, and to make an impact by upholding our laws and our Constitution. The qualifications of Judge Gorsuch are beyond dispute. And particularly given his very engaging writing style and what appears to be a good way of getting along with his colleagues, it could be immense influence. He could have a great deal of, uh, of uh, he could guide the court in sure. many ways in the years ahead. But Democrats like Oregon Senator Ron Wyden quickly attacked, saying no senator who believes that individual rights are reserved to the people and not the government can support this nomination. While Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer said, quote, the burden is on Judge Neil Gorsuch to prove himself to be within the legal mainstream. Senate Democrats are already hinting they may try to stop a vote on Gorsuch in retaliation for Republicans' refusal to take up President Obama's court nominee, Judge Merrick Garland, last year. Now, since Judge Gorsuch would be filling the Scalia seat, some Democrats have suggested they should save their real fight for a future Supreme Court nominee. That's when it's quite possible that an ideological shift of the nation's highest court would be on the line. Dan Godwin on Good Day. 